Round 6 of the exciting Global Champions League competition took place in the stunning Spanish setting of Club de Campo Villa de Madrid. With teams fielding impressive combinations of riders all looking to bring home valuable points in the overall ranking. The competition was a thrilling showcase of nail-biting action, with ranking leaders Valkensvard United set to be the team to beat. So John Whitaker lead things off. This is a great man to show us how to do it. Exactly. Couldn't have put it better. Round one took off with a dramatic start, with an unusual four faults from John Whitaker. A little bit of a hazy moment. Putting the pressure on teammate regular Belshamala. The Rob Janssen design course was proving too much for some. A little bit out of control here. Oh dear, in all sorts of trouble. But he's okay, he's got up the way, thank you. Thank you. He Sweet. is flying, look he's at that flying. time. 158. Changed his mind oh. to the last. Of the eight teams moving through to round two, five combinations were on double clears, with the Monaco Aces leading as the fastest pair taking the prized last spot. Round two saw the action hotting up. Very good round from Georgina Bloomberg this time. Now, yeah, Tina Onassis, Kinsey for Madrid in motion. The teams carrying penalties, none could improve on their scores, with the tough course taking its toll, including on home favourites, Madrid in motion. Which way am I going? Oh, no, not that way. And the pressure is on. With poles rolling, the leaderboard was changing by the minute. That's the beauty of it, the glorious uncertainty. The concrete combination of Laura Kraus and Laura Rennick became the team to beat, with a total of just four faults. Audrey Coulter, five clears out of seven rounds, but she needs one of those zeros here. Oh, Chancy. That was Chancy. Careful. Oh, oh, no. Bruce Springsteen here to support Jessica. Rome Gladiators in on the four, 141.78. Pressure goes on this lady. Ooh, this is a, a big, big surprise. Uh, Daniel Blumen with a super record so far. And a good name for this horse, Believe, because that's what he needs to do. He does. Hold oh. on to that, hold on to that front then. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Go, 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 go. 141.78 to beat. A racing finish needed here. Caution the win. Just got it to the last. Oh, oh no. dear. And the Rome Gladiators, well they win, finishing on just the four, Laura Kraus and Laura Rennick. We were excited to be on the podium in Hamburg at third and now this is great. And just so happy with how our horses jumped, you know, we both couldn't have asked for any more and yeah, it's just perfect end. Although the overall standings remained unchanged, it's now much tighter at the top as we look forward to the exciting next stage of the Global Champions League as we head to France in Chantilly.